The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon from TFNN. Welcome to the June 4th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Ed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And, of course, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two-by-four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. And today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I, just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I want you to know that I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more importantly, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered. Let those fingers do the walking. Go ahead, send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, our Tiger's Den, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, the Dow up 443 points, about one and three quarters percent. S&P up similarly, 48 points. NASDAQ up over 2%, 2.3%, uh, 161 points. Russell up nearly 2%, up 27 points. Semis up 3% plus. 42 points the upside. Uh, mean and green across the board. Spot volatility index off a buck 53, down 8%. Trade now to at 17.34. Gold is flat. Silver flat. Light sweet crude basically flat, up 19 pennies. Leading the charge dollar wise to the upside. Booking holdings 90 bucks. Amazon 32. The trade desk 17. Google 15. Netflix 15. Uh, Chipotle 13. Um, to the downside, Mercado Libre. Uh, about 600,000 shares down about 19 points. That's a little over 3%. Equinix off 11 bucks or a little over 2%. Um, so we have things to look at, of course. I want to look at what you want to look at. So the first question that came in, this came in from LCG uh, very early this morning. Else must be, uh, I don't know where, uh, uh, a non-sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> or most likely California or Australia or somewhere over in Asia or something like that. But uh, the question was very simple. It says the VIX is over 18 now. Where is it going from here? So I'll give you my, I'll give you, I will take a look at the spot volatility index and uh, some things that you should uh, look for. First, first thing that I want to point out to you is watch today's close of the spot volatility index. Right now it's 1733. It's down by minus 8%. If you see the spot volatility NICs have a one-day rate of change of minus 10% or below, that's typically an initiation move. That, uh, if you were to take a look at the S&P 500, and I'll pull up that chart. Oh, well, let me just pull up that chart as opposed to just talking to you and you, you're looking at me out here. That doesn't really help you, does it? This chart here, maybe it helps, maybe it doesn't. Uh, this chart right here. Uh, it would get a green arrow if we were to get a one-day rate of change below minus 10%. Now, when you come off of a bottom like this, and Jose asked, do I see a bottom? It, 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 yeah, we were talking about the bottom yesterday, Jose, and this is just confirmation of that. So there should be no question in anyone's mind whether or not we have a bottom out here, but many people probably have that question. We'll go through that. But one of the things here else that you would want to, or Elsie, that you would want to take a look at, if you do get that one-day rate of change, 
of minus 10% or lower, that's an initiation signal inside the S&P 500. That says the S&P 500 should move higher out there or will move higher out there. And therefore, the spot volatility index uh, should continue to pull back. Now, let's take a look at the spot volatility index. And you're exactly, uh, it was at 18 bucks right now. It's at 17.37. We'll take a look at this chart right here. This chart, you're looking at the actual top half of the screen. The bottom is the S&P 500. If we take a look at the top half of the screen, you're going to see a blue line. That's the 50-day exponential moving average. That's 15.90. So your question is, where is it going from here? Well, if if we get that one day rate of change of minus 10%, it's going to the 50 day exponential moving average line, 1590. Even if we don't, we're probably going to the 50 day exponential moving average range, 1590. But if you do get it, then the emphasis is on the we're going there. In fact, what I would say is we're not just going there. We're going down to 1271 or lower. That's that little red line. That is a Bollinger Band. I only use Bollinger Bands uh, on the spot volatility index for the most part, really for the only part, as far as the toolbox is concerned. And that's a 50 to 1 reading versus the normal uh, default out there. And uh, so that's where I believe. But you got to take things one step at a time, one day at a time. So you know what to look for. And what to look for is the uh, one-day rate of change first. If you get that, it's below minus 10%. You've got an initiation move. And that uh, feeds right into Jose's a question with regard to a do we see a bottom i see a bottom do you see a bottom i see an absolute bottom in here if we go take a look at the s p 500 let's do this out here let's go take a look at the s p and take a look at what we know out here and we'll take a look at the actual daily chart the s p cash versus the equity futures contract we can come back to that but here's the s p 500 what do we know about it well, we know yesterday was day number eight of the TD setup nine count. I don't know that we're going to get the TD setup uh, nine count out here because if we get a close above uh, um, 2790 and we're trading at 2791, then that count will go away. That doesn't really matter to me because what the S&P did was it created a Gartley buy pattern. Here's what that looks like. Let's see if the tools are working appropriately at this time of the day out here. Let's see if... Uh, uh, they are. I'm, I'm not going to hit the points exactly, but you'll at least get to see the, the pattern, so to speak. And and in a Gartley pattern, you've got an A to B equals CD. Well, we had that take place inside of, uh, we had that take place yesterday, the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. Well, you can see that you have going right now. There's your Gartley. It's a less than a 0.382 retracement, or really right around there. That's a very powerful Gartley buy pattern out here. Now, the reason that we know that it's a Gartley pattern, well, the reason that I know that it's a Gartley pattern is because what we have is a bullish reversal candle. Now, it's a three candlestick pattern that has occurred inside the S&P 500. It's referred to as the Three River Morning Star out here. Uh, you also had today's gap up above yesterday's open, uh, giving us this uh, bull separating line. So you've got two very, did I say very? I meant very powerful bullish reversal signals, which really have meaning that the completion of a pattern or patterns out there. And we certainly had a couple of them yesterday. Now, look inside the S&P 500, Jose, anybody else out there, you'll watch what happens at the 2804 level. That's Stevie's red line. That's just the normal spot for the S&P to move to. But the other indices are saying, hey, Steve-O, not so fast. We're prepared to go higher, much much, much, much higher. We'll be right back. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. 
The TAS Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of TAS Market Profile, the TAS Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website, you can still visit us at the same tfnn.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new tfnn.com now and experience all the upgrades. tfnn.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, let's see. We've got another question coming in from uh, Nick in uh, Denmark. Uh, Nick writes in and says, uh, can we take a look at the Dow on the daily in the 60-minute time frame and uh, just to tell uh, tell Nick what it is that we see? So, uh, Nick, let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the Dow cash indice. Then let's go switch over to the 60-minute futures contract to uh, uh, give you that information versus looking at the 60-minute chart for the Dow. You know how I feel about about uh, unequal bars, uh, so to speak. But here's the here's the cash industry. So here's what we know. Here's what we've seen so far. So we've seen the rally uh, stall right at Stevie's red line. Uh, that's the oscillator and change line. Uh, that price point right now is 25,269. You can see we had several patterns out here. Actually, we didn't get a full completion of the A to B equal CD to the downside, but that's okay. We don't really care about it. You don't care about it. I don't care about it. What we have is the bullish reversal candle today. That cements the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom signal. Now, for those of you that are longtime listeners, you've seen me go back in the Dow. We did this, I believe, last week because we were anticipating that a bottom Bottom was forming. We back. We went back. We took a look at all the Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom patterns out there. Even though it showed ones at the top, we were just looking at the bottom patterns, and you saw how well they work. Let me restate that. Just simply, you saw with your own eyes, not me giving you some line of whatever it is. You saw how well they work. Well, you've got another one now. What you want to see here, Nick? What I want to see, because I'm long. Uh, what I want to see is I want to see price close over 25,269. Does it have to do that today? No. It, would I love for it to do it today? Absolutely. 
Absolutely, because then I would have that confidence that now we've got a rising price oscillator above zero. So that's the number to be watching in there. You get a close above that, we're headed higher. Of course, I already said we're headed higher, but we'll take a look at some of those levels to watch out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at the daily chart for the Dow. You too, and now you know what to look for. With regard to the 60-minute time frame chart, let's go pull up the Dow Equity Futures contract. Let's uh, pull this over, see what its message is. And so as we take a look at this, so Nick, the first thing that sticks out in my mind, well, there's a couple things. When this bottomed out here, this bottom with the same indicator, the Rose Momentum Indicator bottom, uh, it did it on the 60-minute time frame. Uh, we actually had uh, two of those bottoms here form uh, yesterday. And uh, now what we can also see on the hourly chart, uh, the red line, Stevie's uh, red line turned green, and it did it right here. This is very bullish. This is at 3 o'clock this morning. It's uber bullish, uh, speaking of uber. And when I, what, what, what do you mean? You know, when this red line starts turning colors, turns from red to green or green to red out there, it tells us the price oscillator, which is the difference between the 19 to 39 day exponential moving average of price, uh, tells us that that price oscillator is at zero. Why is that important? It's very important, especially if you have a rising price oscillator above zero. Now, in this case here, we know that when the red line turns green, that price is going to meet at that line. But when it happens all at the same time, it is like that uh, PXG driver commercial. Kaboom, baby. Yeah, that's in essence what we saw thus far. And so that is the bullish test. So you've got a bullish test on a 60-minute time frame. Now let's go do the wave count to the upside, see where we're at right here. You're in only wave number two. Um, so it looks to me like the 60-minute chart, you're above profiles. Um, yeah, it looks good. We're seeing a bit of a pullback here. Hey, maybe it pulls back to 25, 113, catches up with the green line once again, but you got that nice signal. What this chart, the 60-minute time frame, says to me is it says that uh, price is headed back here, and that's in the 25,702 level. That's another 500 points. Hour. I'm not saying that it ends there. It's just the 60-minute time frame chart is saying to me that price is continuing to run higher, and that becomes the next uh, level, its next target level out here. So that's the 60-minute time frame. That is the uh, daily time frame. And uh, Nick from uh, Denmark, thanks so much for uh, writing in and uh, listening to the uh, show. Um, Let's go take a look at some of the other indices out here. I, I, I want to make sure that that uh, I want to make sure that you see what I see. You make your choice whether you want to be long or short. I'll just share with you what the message of the charts are out here. Let's start off by taking a look at the Nasdaq Composite. You know, trashed and thrashed. But what did it do? Well, it did create the TD setup nine count pattern. It confirmed that yesterday. You've got a nice bullish reversal signal out here. You've got an A to B equals CD. Let's draw that in. That means what you have is a Gartley buy pattern as well. So you've got multiple patterns that are completing. Here was your 1 to 1.272. A to B equals CD. Sets up the Gartley buy pattern. I uh, got the nine count. Says price is headed to 75. 587. That's the NASDAQ composite. Not that I expect that it'll stop there, but that's where price is headed to next on the larger scale. NASDAQ composite has put in a bottom. Let's go take a look at the next chart. How about the semis out here? If we take a look at the semis, what were its patterns? Well, it formed wave number seven. Uh, the TD set up nine count. It did it on bar number eight, just like it did at the top out there. And now price is above Stevie's red line. That's right. You heard it right here at 124 in the afternoon. Price is above 1334.04. You're at 13.43. It now has a rising price oscillator. It is not above zero, but it is a rising price oscillator, suggesting that price is headed to where? This little TD setup trend line, that's up at 1436.15. Is it going to stop there? It may rest there, but is that the end of the move? I don't think so. You've got a nice bottom, a Gartley. A, uh, a seventh wave move, a TD set up nine count. Holy cow, how come I didn't take a position there? Uh, well, we may just add there as well. If we take a look at the transports out here, what do the transports do? They've got the old Gartley buy pattern as well. Price right now running right up towards its red line. That's at 10.051. You close above that. 
and that says that price wants to move higher. If we go take a look at the uh, Wilshire 5000, that was just falling apart uh, like a cheap suit yesterday. This has got the A to B equals CD to the downside, three river morning star pattern. At this stage, it doesn't look like the nine count's going to hold up. This is headed to 28,916. Another Gartley buy pattern out there. You'll probably get sick and tired of the Gartley buys, uh, but if you were to be a pattern that would, or an individual studying the Gartley buys, well then, June 6th, no, June 4th, what day is today's day? June 5th? June 4th. June 4th is your day to put all those charts in your uh, book out there to say, this is what a Gartley buy pattern uh, looks like out here. Uh, the same thing inside the New York Stock Exchange, although it didn't completely make its A to B equals CD pattern out here. That one, we looked at a couple of different patterns in the New York Stock Exchange. We looked at the oversold condition, but more than that, we looked at the bottoming pattern with the uh, rising advanced decline oscillator out there. Right now, you can see price is uh, tackling uh, Stevie's red line, your 12.508. A close above that on the New York Stock Exchange, boom, come boom, headed higher. Now, the New York Stock Exchange, if I'm going to give you the target, the target's all the way back up towards its highs out here, and that is from the trading day of, let me get the cursor out here, it would be headed back towards the May 6th level, New York Stock Exchange, 13037. It's a beautiful two-way market we have. Never forget. Never, ever forget. We're in a consolidation mode. Have been since... Well, at least January of last year. Consolidations are traders' markets in both directions. Okay, right. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as the number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Let's go out to Costa Rica to our man, K. Rico. K. Rico, how are you doing today? Hey, good to hear your voice, Steve. Good Everything to hear yours. Cool. Good to hear yours as well. Thanks for calling in. I hope we're not breaking up too bad because I've got an internet uh, it's going off and on on myself. Nope, you sound you sound great. So I know you want to talk about Detroit Edison, folks. The ticker symbol there is uh, DTE. And uh, tell us uh, tell us how I can help you. Well, you know we've been holding on and holding on and. Look at the ride in the last three or four days. It's been wild, especially today on the downside. <laughs> Well, yeah, yes, yes. The last couple of days, I mean, it's all-time high, folks, uh, back on May 24th, so just a short time ago. Uh, and then there was a, a bit of a sell-off, some decent volume off that high on May 28th out here. But uh, K. Rico is a, a longtime holder of this instrument, a very longtime holder of the uh, instrument. And um, and so now, you know, I know you and you. So what do you want to do? What do you want to do here? I don't see the top. I don't the objective. That's the question. The fact is, the money. It's a, it's an issue of where do you say okay profit time let it go. But I remember what you spoke. We spoke about about six weeks ago that you see this thing at 133 and in high change and then higher than that eventually. And uh, you know with the treasuries paying nothing. 2% for five year, 2% for 10 year practically, and this pays a good dividend. This just seems to be what's, in my non-expertise mind, driving this stock. But sure. I'm not sure. a chartist. Yeah, no, look, look uh, very valid, very good points out here. When, when, when we took a look at trying to come up with a price projection, uh, K. Rico, one of the things that you and I were looking at was just trying to understand what buyers and sellers of Detroit Edison were doing. And we looked at the monthly time frame, and we were looking at the month of December 2017, and there were 17.9 million shares. And when price passed that, it did it in November of 2018 with uh, 21 million shares. So that was uh, 21 versus 17. It was telling us that uh, price had taken out a previous resistance level, did it with gusto, and uh, creating, you know, just even a conservative A to B equals CD pattern uh, gave us that uh, price projection. Here's that pattern, folks. Let's see what the price is. Again, I'm just using the conservative A to B equals CD. And 137 is the one-to-one, -one, but uh, with only a 50% retracement in the way that price is moving along the C to D leg on the strong side, the left side, this K. Rico says that over time, 149.60, 164.65 is not out of the question. Now, you'll want to watch how June trades out here. And the reason I say that is because when I bring over the other monthly time frame chart, price has been rising and doing it with less relative energy out here. And that's signaled by these black lines. And, and because last month, because of the way that the month ended out there with that sell-off on the 25th or so forth, he ended up with basically a doji candle. Uh, a doji candle up at highs. Uh, just tell us that the market is tired. If we get a bearish reversal signal this month, and, and it's easy to happen, you just really need a, clo a lower close for the most part, uh, that would be confirming that the market is tired and there might be a pullback. However, I wouldn't worry unless that uh, were to see that candle close below 123.68. Now, it's June 4th. By June 30th, that number is not going to be 123.68, but it's a guideline to use. It will change, you know, by pennies out here. Maybe it's 30 or 40, 50 cents, something like that. I won't know until we see the end of the month. But right now, you'd need to see a close below that. Does that mean that you sell? I, it just means that I would want you to anticipate a retracement. If you were to say retracement to where, I would say 113.54 to 115.65 right now. 
based on, on what are on my chart patterns out here. But that's not my call as we speak at 1.34 in the afternoon. My call is just be careful, is just to watch to see how June trades out here. But I don't see any intermediate term time frame signals to suggest, um, you know, that, that now would really be that time to sell. Not with the chart okay. data that's in front of us. There just are no clear breaks of support. The daily, yes, but the daily chart for as long as you and your brother and your family have held this, that's just noise. You know, it's really no, not that it can't lead to something. It can, but I just haven't seen it on the charts lead to anything just yet. You are so good at what you do. I appreciate it so much. I'm only good if it works. <laughs> <laughs> and I recognize, <laughs> and I recognize that. But, uh, but I have conviction in what it is that I see at the moment here, um, and I love the patterns that we trade and the tools that you know I've been able to accumulate by being a TF and enter. Um, and just the more that you use them, the more that you look at them, uh, it just provides the more conviction. You and I know yeah. we can't control what the markets are going to do next or who's going to do this or who's going to do that. But, so we have yeah. to go with the information that we have right now. That's what a that's what that's all that I'm doing. I'm just looking at what buyers and sellers are telling you and I uh, looking for support and resistance and just trying to understand what other patterns might be out there. And so right now, I just think you got to you should stay tight with this and keep collecting that uh, dividend. Well, you said. You spoke a, a, a very important word in my life right now, and that word is conviction. And within the next 75 days, the book that my friend and I started in 1998 in the middle of April, yes, it's going to come to life. It's going to be, we're going to, I'm controlling the destiny of all of it. It's in my hands. We're going to be self-publishing on Amazon Kindle. Our web page is going to go live. I'll let you know. Perfect. I'll let you know the, the name of our web page, and um, we'll, we'll talk about other little things that if I can help you, whatever, I'm happy. Um, I just believe in what this book is going to do for many, many millions of young people around the United States. But once I start this book, I am out of Detroit Edison no matter where it is because oh. I need to extremely focus on what we're going to do with this book. Yeah, well, then there you go. So then you've got your answer. But uh, right now, today, hang with Detroit Edison, and uh, I think you'll be a happy camper. Okay, man. Hey, love Thank you, Steve. Thanks again for Thank your help. Thanks. I'll be in touch. Oh. You bet. Always good to hear from you. That was K. Rico in Costa Rica. Uh, we had a question come in, a couple of questions. Uh, in the den, SNP wanted to take a look at Facebook. So let's go do this. Uh, let's take a look at Facebook using, in essence, our six time frame charts. We're only looking at three of them right now. So Facebook, um, and, and Tucker, I did not cover gold or silver, so we'll do that. So hang tight there, too. So just the question was, Thoughts on Facebook. Here's what Facebook did, um, S&P on a daily chart. It came right back to support, right back to the breakout level. So now when I say support, I actually this is even more important than support because it's where it's where this it's where it's where the stock broke out. Now this is a different, slightly different breakout than than if you were reading the art of timing the trade. But this is just this. I mean, it's a it's a beautiful thing. So S&P price came back to support. If you're looking for a long trade in Facebook, take it with a closeout below uh, the low of uh, yesterday. Otherwise, Facebook headed to 179.72, give or take. You're at 166.97 right now. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. 
That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So uh, next question coming in here, and we'll just try to integrate it with uh, Tucker's question about covering gold and silver and so forth. Uh, this coming in from uh, George in Tampa. So George writes in, says um, he bought uh, a ticker symbol CD. That's Core Lane, or now it's, I guess, Core Mining out here. Uh, they're, they, they're, they engage in the exploration and development of silver and gold mining properties located in the U.S., Mexico, Bolivia, Argentina, and Australia out here um headquartered in illinois uh so let's go take a look at it but the question is this uh, bought it for a trade and uh, looking to sell at between five to five seventy five uh what's our what's my opinion and then uh, he's got another uh issue or another question about sbgl let's take a look at this one first here and uh, so you've got a price target of five bucks <coughs> so what five dollars does are in that range. Um, what, what do I see at, at, in the five dollar range? At four fifty two, I see the bottom of a weekly profile. Chances are a new weekly profile will form before price gets up there. But right now, that's resistant, so that makes sense as a target. The bottom of the monthly profile, four twenty seven. Um, so all that makes sense. Now, the beauty of yesterday, uh, you, I don't know when you bought this. Uh, before then, clearly. So in the past couple of days based on your entry price, what you liked about yesterday was closing above the top of the daily profile. What do we mean? Well, if we take a look at this equity here, this is especially true for this equity for you, is if you look at the most recent high out here, and I'm referring to coming back to uh, February 20th, what I want you to notice are the profiles out here. The top of the boxes are in red, this time frame, or th th this set of charts, okay? The center of the box, that little cyan color, the bottom is uh, green out here. What I want you to notice is that you never saw a uh, price close above the top of a profile. The closest you got was on March 13th. Uh, that's when price got up towards the top of the box at 504, it got up to 502, and then continued moving lower. So a change in trend signal 
Four, ticker symbol CDE says, happens when you get a price close above the top of the profile. At least what you should anticipate is price no longer moving lower. So it does look like you've gotten a bottom out here. Of course, we look at the daily time frame chart. What we're going to see is we're going to see a bottom. We're going to see the nine count really wasn't it, but the price relative strength divergent pattern, that was a bottom on a daily time frame. I don't know, it's just Tuesday. But right now, on a weekly basis, I don't have the weekly chart. Here's the weekly chart. Price above Stevie's red line for that time frame. By the way, that price, well, I can't tell you. It's figure it's right around 313 or so. Uh, it's behind uh, where price is trading right now. But you've got a Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom on a weekly basis. That says that price could get all the way up to, here's the price target, a 537. That's using the weekly time frame chart out here. So, look, all I can uh, say is that uh, congrats. You've got a change in trend on a daily time frame. You know, keep a, keep a stop in place. Uh, you're getting a bottom signal on the weekly time frame out here. And uh, so you're just going to have to continue to manage it as price gets up towards your target exit. You are also interested in ticker symbol SBGL. Let's go take a look at this SBG, SBGL. This is for uh, Cyb, Cybane Stillwater. I believe another mining equity out here. Your question was you're looking for a good entry point. Well, it looks like that ship has sailed. So now it becomes a pullback. We're on a pullback. Why isn't my other charts? They're not. My other charts aren't picking it up. Bummer. I don't know what happened there. I do not know what happened there. Okay, so we're going to just have to go with this. So George, 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 George. Um, I'm somewhat limited. Um, you see, this thing broke above the top of its box a couple of days ago, May 31st. Uh, without my other charts, I don't, I'm really kind of screwed, unfortunately, and giving you a great entry price. 359 would be one I'd throw out, but I'm not going there. Um, I don't have, I, I apologize. For whatever reason, my other system is not uh, picking it up. I'm just getting blanks out there and uh, just have something to do with this symbol that I must need to update on the other charts out there. So, um, yeah, I'll... Uh, I'm not really sure what to tell you. Well, I, I, I can only tell you what I can tell you. I don't have a great entry point. If this thing pulled back to 359 on light volume, then, uh, yeah, that would be it. But um, sorry about that. Uh, and uh, thanks for listening and thanks for writing in. Much appreciated. Uh, so let me, let me just kind of slide into gold and silver out here. So with regard to gold, with regard to gold, with regard to gold, let's take a look at the daily time frame out here, Tucker. Now, here's, here's a potential concern for, uh, for Goldilocks. We're not too worried that gold is trading at 1329 or that it's a doji candle. What we know right now is that today is going to be day eight of the TD setup nine count. And day eight can be a top. We also know that price is trading below the resistance level set up by the TD setup nine count. That's at 134040. Tomorrow could be bar nine. Maybe it's a higher high out there. If it's bar nine, uh, and then the following day, which would be Thursday, is the day after nine, that could also create a uh, another uh, uh, portion of this uh, pattern out here. And if all that takes place in price below 1340, you got to be really careful because it means that that price on this momentum move having this kind of strength, nine consecutive closes above a close, four bars earlier, and it couldn't take out that resistance level. That is a dangerous pattern. Do they all work out there? No, they do not all work out there. But Tucker, was it you that asked the question? You got to be careful. You got to be careful. That is, as good as everything looked out there, failing, it's kind of like the uh, pole jumper, pole vaulter, you know, can't get over 13, 40, 40. Not going to uh, go home with the prom queen. It's just not going to happen out there. So you've got we, we've got to continue to pay attention to this. We've got to continue paying attention to this and watch this over the next couple of days. Now, look, if price is closes over 13, 40, 40, that is like getting out of jail uh, in the case of uh, gold out here. So that's what the daily time frame chart says. Now, to make matters worse, the mere fact that today's count is a eight count in that TD setup. We bring over uh, Mr. Z's favorite time frame, the five hour time frame. And what he knows 
I guarantee you he knows this. What he knows, well, problem is our five-hour time frame bars are slightly different. Slightly different. But maybe he already knows this. And that is that uh, uh, what gold has done on a five-hour basis is it has achieved wave number seven. It is singing in Stevie Wonder's key of G, if you're watching us on Tiger TV. And now we've got price moving higher, doing less relative energy. Both of these, now price is pulled back and it's tested support, Tucker. So there's nothing wrong. This is caution. This is this is this is not like living in Florida and the weatherman says, you know, pretty good chance of rain today. I've lived down here for 35 plus years, or what, 36 plus years. Of course, always a chance of rain when you're sitting between two bodies of water out there. But so, so, but if price were to get below 1325, Tucker, that's a problem. That's a problem with these patterns that are out here. So right now. Gold has entered the caution zone. It says, keep watching it. Be careful. Be careful. Tuck, that's what I see. When I take a look at the price of gold, I'll show you silver during the break. I'll put up the profile. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South Africa, African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let Gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated traded folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN.
Welcome back. Uh, so uh, a couple of questions that have come in. Let's try to do this in a two-minute wrap here. So there was a question from KP in the Tigers' Den. Any opinion on Bond? Uh, yeah, they they uh, generated a, um, a butterfly cell pattern. You're seeing the A to B equals CD. Uh, TD set up a nine-count pattern is in play. You got the bearish engulfing candle. Uh, Price is pulling back into the 152-ish range out here as we speak. So they put in a, a decent uh, top out here. Uh, price could pull back all the way to the breakout level. That breakout level is uh, right here on the trading day of uh, May the third out there. That's not the. That's where price could pull back to. Uh, with regard to the uh, profiles, um, let's just do this here. Let's put those up real quickly for you, and take a look at the daily and weekly profiles. See where those are at. For Treasury bonds, uh, this would say that uh, price is pulling back to 149.27 out here. That would be the uh, move lower. I would say if you get a price uh, below, if you move below 153 and a quarter, um, that's a close below the five-hour time frame chart, uh, bottom of its profile. That's a pretty good indication to, to to see bonds continue to pull back even further out there. Uh, with regard to Max writes in and wants to uh, buy calls on uh, light sweet crude via USO and is asking, you know, do I think that the that the uh, lights we crude the market are trading in tandem. That, I'm not going to go there. I would just rather trade the patterns out here. Um, and the patterns for for light sweet crude, it, you know, all I've got from a bottoming potential signal is yesterday being is today completing a TD setup nine count. So you know, if you want to do it, go take that. Go take the position. I don't have real conviction behind this, by the way, but that is a bottoming signal out here in light sweet crude. And so you could take it if you see it close below uh, yesterday's low out there. You know, go ahead and liquidate those that call position. So I wouldn't load up the truck, so to speak. But do I see the potential for a bottom? I do. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Absolutely. The entire world's best polar bear. He's up next. He's an amazing technician. To boot, Tom O'Brien, 3 to 5. I'll be back with you on Wonderful Wednesday. Have a great Tuesday, folks.